So I've noticed over the past couple of months, maybe years, that uh, I've seen quite a lot of comments of people asking how to install mods for Planet Coaster. So I decided to make the ultimate straightforward guide to installing mods for Planet Coaster. Now, this is basically just going to run through uh, three or four mods, which I think you need to have in order to make the game as best as it possibly can. So without further ado, we're literally just going to get straight into this and starting on the baseline, the V3 Realism mod. So in order to download the V3 Realism Overhaul mod is you're going to want to get yourself to the Planko Mod Hub Discord server. Now I've left a link to this in the description of the video and what you're going to do is you're going to click that link and then when it prompts you to join the server you just simply accept and then you're in the server. Obviously if you don't have a Discord account make one before you do it and then you'll be able to access um, all the server. So what you're going to do is you're going to use this server basically to download all of the other servers uh, not servers, mods, which uh, we're talking about in the video. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to this channel here known as Mod Releases. Um, it'll likely be down here as the most recent post. And what you're going to do is you're going to scroll all the way up to the very first post here, which is uh, on the 12th of December 2020. And now, basically, we're going to download the Planko Mod Manager. Now, this allows us to install a certain type of mod file known as a PCM, and this is what the Realism V3. So, we're going to head to this top link here where it says Release Initial Release. We'll click that, and then it'll bring you to this GitHub page where you can then download the Mod Manager. Now, we're going to download this here where it says PCModManager.zip. So, if you give that a click, it'll then prompt the download to begin. So, whilst that's finishing, we're going to head back to the server where we're then going to scroll down from this page here to where it says realism overhaul underscore v3 dot pcm now this pcm file is the mod we want so if we simply just click this it'll then prompt the download and it will begin now once your pc mod manager dot zip has finished you're going to click it and if you haven't got WinRAR or whatever it's called it'll just prompt the file explorer and then we're going to simply extract it to our downloads folder where it will then unpack the files so if we head back to our file explorer PC Mod Manager, PC Mod Manager again, and you're going to get a lot of files here. Now, the one we're looking for is this application file here called PC Mod Manager. Double click that, and then it will load it. So, for the first time it installs and loads, it will likely ask for your Planet Coaster directory file, which basically means you need to find where you've installed the game to. So, if you're like me, it will be on a either a dedicated or your boot drive, where it will then be within the Steam library folder might also be in a subfolder called Steam. Just look for your Steam installation, double click that, Steam Apps, Common, Planet Coaster. This is your directory for the game. Um, that's where you need to install it to. So if you double click this when it prompts you for the thing, it will then use this as your Planet Coaster directory file. So if we head back to the uh, mod manager this gives us a now chance to install some of the pcm files so as you can see here i've already got it installed but what you're going to do is you're going to hit install new mod downloads folder and then you're going to double click the overhaul uh, v3 pcm file now what this is going to do is it's then going to install the mod using this uh, content command prompt window thing here and then once it's finished it will then appear here if you want to uninstall it you simply click this button here and you can even use this to install all the mods if you have any issues with them. Uh, this is, as you can see, the same method um, for if you want to install other PCM files, such as the train retextures here. And the basic all that does is it gives you new color schemes. You simply download the file, uh, and then within the mod manager, you'll install the new mod, uh, head to your downloads, and basically just double click the PCM file you just installed. Um, that pretty much is all the mod manager related uh, installations you need. Um, so we'll move on to the next set of mods, which is the ACSE mods. So the ACSE mods is a series of mods which is installed a different method. It basically means you simply drag and drop the mods you want into the game's files instead of using a separate application to install them. We're going to use this to install the next set of mods uh, in the game. Now you're going to scroll down from the mod releases to this post here made on the 7th of April 2021 and you're going to head to this top link here where it'll then bring you to another github page and you'll simply click the source code.zip file that'll download and then you can open and extract it. Now once this is done head to your downloads folder open up ACSE 
click into that file, and you're gonna get prompted with two different files here. We're gonna be using the top file to install the mod loader, and then the bottom one is the subsequent mods we're gonna use. So if we copy this top file, we're gonna take it to our games directory. We're gonna go Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and then within the Planet Coaster directory itself, we need to head to the Win64 folder here. Once we've done that, we're going to go to the OVL and then you're going to paste it within this file here. So as you can see, I've already pasted it in uh, and that means that I've got the mod loaded. If you want at this point to check if that has installed properly, you can simply boot the game up and on the menu, it will say underneath the Planet Coaster text at the top, ACSE loaded or installed, whatever it says. Uh, and that means it's installed properly and then you can then add your mods. So we're going to add these three mods here. The And basically what they do is the camera mod uh, removes that anticipation uh, where the camera sort of looks up and down before the transitions on a coaster and that basically locks the camera rigid to the train looks a damn sight better than the original one uh, the awesome smooth mod which i think is one of the most crucial mods if you want to make smooth coasters which basically adds the ability to do smooth forward and then smooth backwards and basically that automates the one meter process for you and then finally the your less important one, but I think is a nice one to have, uh, is the awesome renaming mod. And basically what that does is it changes the in-game coaster names from their Frontier given names, such as the BNM Invert being the rival, uh, the RMC T-Rex being the Basilisk, to their proper manufacturer names, which I think just adds another layer of realism, which is a nice thing to have in the game. So just to recap quickly, to install these mods, you simply just head back to the ACSE Planet Coaster file, head under this folder where it says ACSE mods, and then simply copy these files and then put them straight back in this directory here and you're good to go. So that about sorts all of the different mods you're gonna need uh, for the game to run, in my opinion, at its peak possible performance. Um, there are a couple other ones which are really helpful, such as the NL2 to PC converter, which basically means that you can import Planet, uh, No Limits 2 coasters into Planet Coaster um, using the piece by piece method. Um, there's also obviously reshade, which I think is a really crucial thing to have for screenshots. Uh, definitely check out Misty's uh, presets, who he's got a drive link sorted out here. Uh, there are also some other mods you can download from, uh, I think it's... Is it Nexus Mods? There are a couple of mods on there, but they have separate different installations uh, which have their own readmes, but I'm not going to get into that because you don't necessarily need those for this. Um, but yeah, that about sums up all the mods. Um, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I know it might have been a bit uh, confusing if you haven't really gotten into game modding before, but I tried to make this as clear as possible because I know it can be really annoying when you want to install something, but there's no tutorials if something goes wrong. Um, if you do happen to have any issues with the mods, check out the server, try troubleshooting using any of these different threads here, and if you yeah, you know do have any issues you can always leave a comment on in my channel and i might be able to help um but if not try and try the server they've got a load of people in here a great community and also just give thanks to the people making and developing these mods because if it wasn't for them this game definitely be dead by now and that is a fact i am not about to argue so yeah uh thank you very much for watching this tutorial stay tuned for exciting content coming up soon uh, including the revival of a series which has died but it's coming back and we're bringing it back um so yeah thank you very much for watching stay tuned for more and i'll see you all next time